All right, what's up guys? Um, this will be video number two uh, regarding how to hack your PSP Go. I've already covered downgrading the Go uh, to 620. So now I'm going to show you how to install the 620 Pro B10 permanent patch. In my opinion, the very best option for one of these. Uh, it's permanent. It's fakely permanent, but it's still permanent. You don't ever have to reinstall it as long as you take care of it. And uh, it will run just about everything. It runs the PSN. Pretty much every ISO I've ever played has worked on 620. Um, it's the way to go. So start off by doing the usual. I'll show you the firmware. 620. And then you're going to want to download the file that's in the description and connect to USB mode. <clears throat> um, I'm open up, uh, open up the PSP. Here's the PSP. We're going to open up the file that we downloaded, which is right here. And basically when your PSP opens, where'd it go? Alright, you'll see in the file we download, there's a PSP folder and an SE plugins folder. And you're going to want to take the PSP folder out of here, drag that and drop it in there. It's going to say, do you want to merge? Click yes. Merge those folders, and you'll also see you'll get an SE plugins. No, no, okay, no, wait. Sorry, scratch that. <laughs> All right, going back into the file you downloaded, and take the SE plugins folder. I'm going to drag and drop that at the bottom too. So then it will copy all the um, it will copy all the translations and fonts for the recovery menu and stuff. All right, so now that you've copied those two folders, you can close that. You can close the file, and then you can disconnect your PSP. Now go over to the game section in the XMB, go into system storage. You'll see these three new things in here, fast recovery, permanent bootloader, and the pro update. You want to run this one first, so go ahead and do that. Remember, always install the firmware before you try to do anything else. Now it says uh, Pro B by Team Pro, press X to launch, press triangle to uninstall, L to reinstall, R to exit. So you want to press X so that it writes the firmware to your PSP. Press X to start CFW. And you just hacked your go. <laughs> it's that easy. I'll show you that it's hacked. Six twenty Pro B ten, and this is the fix. The Pro B ten fix one it will be in the description. There's a fix version out, and that is what I will put in the description. So this is the latest version of Pro. Uh, you'll be able to see. Press select to get your recovery menu. I might as well show you this like before we go to the uh, permanent patch. You can change the recovery font in this. Oh, wait, what am I doing? Go to configuration. You can change the recovery font. And uh, I like to go, when, you, when you're at this, press this left arrow twice. Tiny type. That's my favorite one. So I'm going to leave mine at tiny type. I like that a lot. And it also changes the, uh, the VSH font to tiny type. I enjoy that. All right. Anyway, back to the tutorial. Uh, go back over to the game section. Go into the system storage. And then you want to run that, the Pro B permanent patch. Press X on that. Now remember, is, uh, one thing you always want to do, always, 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 when you install a permanent patch, run the test run. It's like the most important thing. So it's going to ask you, you want to install the patch, press X. I'll tell you where it saves the original VSH main. 
Uh, it says you want to have a test run of the fake VSH main, strongly recommended. You do. So press X, yes, you do want to have a test run. And it should send you back to the XMB. Now if your PSP returns to the XMB like this, and it acts normal, then you're all set. You can go ahead and, and uh, continue. <clears throat> if your PSP freezes, or it won't run or anything like that, and it shuts off, do not continue with this tutorial because you're going to break your PSP. Okay? So go back into system storage, run the permanent bootloader again, I apologize if you guys can hear a regular show in the background. It's on pretty loud out in the other room. Alright. Uh, you want to install the press, patch. Press X again. It'll tell you again that it saved VSH main. Now, you don't need to do the fake, uh, the um, test run of the fake VSH main. So this time you want to press circle for no. It'll stay install completed. Exiting. And your PSP will go back to the XMB. Now just to show you that it, it worked, uh, we're going to go to Reset Device, right there. Press X on Reset Device, and that's a cold reboot of your PSP. Now restart. Now normally, if you did a reset device on a light CFW, it would uninstall the CFW. So we're going to go over to System Settings, System Information, and we still have Pro B10. So the permanent patch is working magnificently. So that's it for this tutorial, how to install 620 Pro B10 on a PSP Go. Um, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, rate the whole nine yards. Check out sneaky-media.com for ISOs, movies, music, all that good stuff, and sneaky-codes.tk for all your hacks, homebrew, firmware updates, and much, much more. And uh, make sure you check out my channel too. Like them, subscribe, react, rate, comment, tweet about me, make your Facebook status, sworn leader owns me. Anything you want to do to show homage for all the PSPs that I've helped hack over the last year year and a half or so so that's about it guys um, that is all until next time coming up next installing plugins themes all that stuff so keep keep watching swan leader signing out